Hey guys, Lo from Low Nose, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily network your Windows 10 PC. Okay, so why am I doing this? My son and I have our own YouTube channel. Go ahead, check it out right here. <laughs> Shameless plug. Um, and when we're done recording, I've got to get this video from one PC to the other. Uh, sure, I could use a thumb drive or a portable hard drive, but forget that. That's just way too slow. I want gigabit transfer speeds. PC Master Race, you know? Give me all that there is to offer. Unfortunately, Windows 10, I am talking to you. With all your fancy menus and Big Brother options, you do not make it easy to network your PC. Now, I'm not a network IT wizard, and I don't want to mess with IP addresses. And I'm sure you're the same way as well. And home group, jeez, what a mess that is. You know, have fun writing down your passwords and managing your folders. I just want things to work. I just want to double click on a network drive and be given unlimited access. All right? All right, so let me show you how to do this. Okay, so to start off with, we're first going to check out and make sure that our computer is network discover discoverable on our network. So do a search. Network and sharing center. Change advanced sharing settings. And by default, it should already be there. Turn on network discovery. What, you, what that does is when you look at your network folder, all the computers that you have on your network will show up here. Okay, now you're going to go to the drive on the computer that you want to share. So for this example, we use scratch disk. It's our G drive. We're going to right click on it. Share with, advanced sharing, advanced sharing again. As you can see, our drive is not yet shared. We're going to check on the share this folder, and we're going straight to permissions. And we're going to allow everything or whichever works for your needs. Apply, OK, apply and OK. Now, now you can see our drive is now being shared with the little icon here with the two person people. Now, let's go back to our other Win Windows 10 PC and actually set up that computer so we can actually talk to this drive. Okay, so we're on our other computer now. We're actually going to go see here. We're going to look at our networks, and we're going to see that the other computer we're working on, in this case, the Beast, it is available, it is available on the network, but we can't yet access it. Now, we already set the drive to be shared, so that's good to go. But all we need to do now is give the login credentials to the PC. Now, normally, with networking, you would use the computer username and the computer, I'm sorry, the computer password. For some reason, with Windows 10, this doesn't work the way it used to be, especially when with the introduction of Windows 10 profiles. If you want to access it, you have to use the actual Windows 10 profile and not the username and password of the computer you want to get into. So you would go to use another account. And normally, let's just say if, you're, if you are using your Microsoft uh, profile, it would be your Microsoft email address or whatever that you used to create it. So let me show you, for example. You would go to the Windows your username, change account settings. This right here, since the name of this computer is called the Kraken, this computer doesn't have a Microsoft sign-in account yet, but our other computer does. And it would be right here, it would be like, you know, something address at hotmail.com or live.com. So, if you, so if, if you need to know where your account is, you can find it right here and you should know your password. Okay, so let's go back. So we're now gonna fill in the administrator or the Microsoft account details to reach the other computer. Remember, it's the same as the email address and the same password. And go ahead and press OK. Oops, forgot my password. <laughs> There we go. Okay, so now we're in. So now we can see that our G drive is showing up because we did share it. And we'll double click on it. 
boom, there we go. You've got access to it. Okay, guys, I hope this video served you well. Just remember, if you want to share your hard drives on your network between your two computers, share the hard drive that you want to or hard drives, uh, allow all the permissions. And also probably one of the most important things uh, that gets lost in a lot of people, don't use the username and password of the computer. Use the username and password of your Microsoft account. That will open up everything and then you'll be able to, as you saw, share just easily. Okay, guys, so if you liked the video, please leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. Um, and if there's anything else you'd like me to, if, if you have any questions or anything, or anything, leave a comment below and I'll, I'll check it out for you. I'll probably try to answer it for you. Until then, thanks for watching. This is Low for Low Nose, um, sort of. Catch you next time. Bye.